Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and we also open up lots and lots of posts. Old school magic posts, of course. Um, you know what? I'm going to start with this package. It comes from, let's have a look, Card Advantage Europe. And um, I ordered three cards in here after um, I edited a video on the channel and there was a specific card in there and I really, really liked the way the card was performing. I already own one copy of the card. It's a green card and uh, it's kind of like a death ward, but better, I guess. Also more expensive to cast though. Anyway, it's an interesting card. I find it interesting at least. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a lot of good quality packaging, so I appreciate that. And then we've got the cards themselves. So three cards from Legends. I just love the set Legends. There's so much in there. So many kind of like obscure cards that are not being played a lot, but do have some potential. And I think this is exactly a card like that. A card that in my opinion has potential. Ooh, okay, let's make sure I'm not damaging the cards beforehand. So we've got a little label and I guess this is, yeah, so this is stuff to protect it. Okay, here we go. So there are three cards, there are three of the same and this is the card Reincarnation. So the cool thing about Reincarnation, let's just, just read the card and then I'll explain to you what has changed, you know, how the Oracle text has changed of this card. So it's two green and one to cast for an instant Reincarnation. And um, if target creature is placed in the graveyard this turn, bring a creature from that graveyard directly into play under the control of the owner of the target creature. Treat this creature as though it were just summoned. So what you could do, and the way I would interpret it after reading this is thinking, okay, I'm attacking with a creature, my creature gets killed, then I cast Reincarnation, and for that creature, I can bring back another creature that I already have in my graveyard. Now, if that is the case, then it's kind of a hard card to use because you can only use it if you already have a creature in the graveyard, and then you're hoping that the creature that you have in the graveyard is worth it, you know? The cool thing is uh, the rules have changed, and you can use Reincarnation on the creature that's actually going to the graveyard itself. So in a way it works like a regeneration, um, a death ward kind of effect. And uh, it's better than regeneration, right? Um, and it's, it's also better than death ward because what happens is it goes to the graveyard. Let's say you're Triskelion, right? It comes in with three plus one plus one counters. You're using it, you're shooting down two creatures or two damage from your opponent, then it shoots itself. Then in response, you can use reincarnation it comes back from the graveyard, it comes back into play, and it has the three plus one plus one counters again. And that's just one of probably many cool ways of how you can use reincarnation. So I'm really excited um, to start kind of tinkering with this card. And uh, yeah, and, and the art, look at the art. I mean, the art alone is worth getting a couple of copies of this, right? Anyway, so reincarnations, that's here. Let's, uh, you know what, let's, let's put it here, let's put it here. Reincarnations. Uh, I got posts from the States. I'm going to open that later. Oh, and I've got posts from La France. This is pretty cool. Um, this comes from the Seven Point Singleton uh, crew from Mikael. And uh, he's a really cool guy, very relaxed, really a lover of the game. And he runs the Seven Point Singleton together with Thomas. And um, yeah, he sent me a little something. And I think he's sending this as a thank you because I, um, I did a... Seven Point Singleton final on Timmy Talks. Obviously, you know, you don't have to send me a card for that, but it's always great uh, to get p uh, to get things from the community. And in case you don't know Seven Point Singleton, by the way, it's, it's a quite a nice format. They're now also going to have a, um, a World Cup in Spain, I believe. Maybe by the time I upload this video, it's already uh, it's already been done because I believe it's it's in July somewhere already, pretty quickly. Um, and here you see the card. As you can see, it's altered, so it's a giant tortoise, originally from the Arabian Nights, right? And and here you can see a Timmy in a hammock, relaxing. So how cool is that? So I'm gonna try to break this open and kind of show it to you in its full glory. 
Well, it's not that hard. But yeah, seven point singleton is a really nice singleton format. So if you're into that, um, they organize tournaments every month and it's free to join. So I'll put a link to their Facebook page uh, in the description below. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Wow, how cool. I really like the effect. I wonder how he made it. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like it's stamped on there, like the silhouette. Really, really nice. Wow. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, Miko. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna send out a couple of pins to you guys. And by the time this video goes online, you've probably already gotten these pins, but um, I'll definitely send you a few as a thank you. I really appreciate it. This is going into my collection and um, I'm also gonna play it, I think. I still need to join your seven point singleton events. I will, there will be a moment. And like I said, if you wanna join Seven Point Singleton and try it out, um, check the description below for the link to their Facebook page and you can just join, it's, it's free, you know? They all do it out of love for the game. And then we have Post, this is a playset. This is from the Czech Republic. And um, I ordered this through MCM and I have to say there are a few sellers in the Czech Republic, including Petr Bocek, who are really, in my opinion, really good, solid, trustworthy sellers. Let's have a look. Okay, here are the cards. This is my receipt. I always like, it's kind of professional, right? When they give a receipt to show you what you've ordered. Um, yeah, and these are some staples. Well, sta I don't know if they're staples, but for me, they're staples and they're, uh, they're black. They're unlimited. And I like them, I like them. And here we go. So these are two Sengir vampires. I know some people say Sengir vampires. So is it Sengir or Sengir vampires? Here in the Netherlands, we say Sengir vampires, but you know, you never really know. And it is a full play set. So how cool is that? A full play set of Sengir vampires. Really happy. So in case in case you, you don't know what the card does, let's have a look. It's a two black and three to cast for a four four flyer. And the cool thing is vampire gets a plus one plus one counter each time a creature dies during a turn in which vampire damaged it unless the dead creature is regenerated. So unfortunately it doesn't work on regeneration, but it is pretty cool. And uh, this is really nice to combine with arena. That is a nice way, and I know that, you know, back in the day, you know, when I started playing Magic in the Revised era, you know, because this is also reprinted in Revised, this isn't Unlimited, but it's also reprinted in Revised. Uh, people used to play this with um, Sorcerer's Queen and Netling Imp, and it was pretty cool. If, if you could make it work, you know, it was really nice. So, four beautiful Zen Sengir, or Sengir vampires over there. Wow, look at the mail day. I I'm really happy with this stuff. And this is mail all the way from the United States of America. And uh, this is this is actually not a magic card, but it is magic related. Um, I've been looking for these uh, Citadel tokens and I've made a video about Citadel tokens. I'll, I'll put a little uh, little link up here in the, uh, in the little info card popping it up. But these are Citadel tokens and these are tokens that I've been looking for because I couldn't get them in uh, in Europe. I just couldn't find them. And then somebody pointed out to me, oh, here, Thomas, thank you for your purchase. Please enjoy the Citadel Tetravite token. Sincerely, Dice City team. Well, thank you, Dice City. I have to say, I can really recommend buying from Dice City. They're very relaxed. I send them a message through Facebook Messenger. They replied. They were really uh, quick about it. I said, listen up. I'm located in Europe. I'm in the Netherlands. I'm in Amsterdam. Is it a problem? They were just very, very friendly and, and very surface orientated. You know, they really want to do business, which is a good thing. Anyway, I guess now we already know that there are Tetravite tokens, but the cool thing is they're special tokens, right? So if you want to know more about that whole Citadel token story, because there's a whole story attached, click on the info card and uh, that will take you to that video. But maybe don't click on it yet, because I'm going to show you these tokens. Look at these. Ah, oh, so cool. Tetravite tokens. 
These are tokens from the 90s, right? This is nothing new, nothing modern. This is all pure nostalgia. And I've got these tokens for some of my Fallen Empire cards as well. But I wanted to have this as well because I play with Tetravite from time to time. It's a, it's a creature I really like. Just having these tokens, it's just pretty badass. So here you go, a nice Tetravite token. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of these tokens. Would you like to have some um, as well? Or what do you use as a token? Anyway, um, this is it for today. This is the mail day. And um, yeah, I'm uh, feeling pretty lucky. I mean, look at all of that. Look at all of that stuff. Wow, really nice. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic um and if you'd like to help the channel out leave a like subscribe or um yeah share this on your socials another thing you can do is you can become a patron on Tim, uh, on the patreon page of timmy talks and also support the channel financially help me grow the channel keeping the channel alive and uh, you can do that by just clicking on the info card that's appearing right now and that will take it into timmy talks patreon page Talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, amazing, wonderful patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het dus, ik het dus, somba kazee!